Now, you are going to love our last act of the night. She's a very funny friend of mine, and I really mean that. That's not just a show business thing. Uh, she's performed stand-up all over the world. Her TV appearances include Reno 911 and The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. She's currently writing and acting in the hit web series, Romantic Encounters, proving that blondes have way more fun. Here's my buddy, Melinda Hill. <laughs> I think it's so important to value the sacred institution of marriage. Um, I'm not personally married, but I do have a boyfriend, and he's married. <laughs> a lot of people have a personal motto or creed that they like to live by. I guess my personal creed is just no matter how bad things are, they would definitely be worse if a creed song was playing. <laughs> I did just get engaged by changing my Facebook status to engage. <laughs> my dad is Irish Catholic and my mom is Protestant, so that makes me bisexual. <laughs> I am bisexual, meaning when a guy buys me stuff, I do feel sexual. <laughs> I used to go out with a lot of musicians, you know, but after all of the glamour and excitement wears off, you're really only left with one thing, and that's hepatitis C. <laughs> I always feel sorry for people with bad tattoos, you know, because that's like a temporary phase they went through and then they got stuck with it for life. I mean, if I was stuck with like every wacky trend I thought I needed to have, I would be standing here with like a, a crazy belly button ring and a baby. <laughs> 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 and a college degree. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> I did complete college early uh, by dropping out. <laughs> I wish uh, online dating profiles were honest and people would come right out and tell you about themselves. I am a narcissist in chronic back pain who needs constant rides to the airport. <laughs> I was on Match.com, thank you. <laughs> and I met a guy on there who called me three times, um, and when I called him back, he didn't remember who I was. So he's like, Melinda, this is Toy Story 5 from Match.com. Let's see if this is as good as it is on paper. Right, first message. A little while later in the hour, Melinda, it's Toy Story 5. Not sure if I called you yet to ask you out or not. Anyway, I'm calling you now, call me back. Calls third message, Melinda, not sure if you got my earlier messages. <laughs> Never know if people get my messages. At any rate, call me back. Here's my home number. So I call him back. Hello? Hi, it's Melinda. Melinda? Melinda who? <laughs> Melinda from Match.com. Oh, how'd you get this number? <laughs> Um, you left it for me in a message. A few messages, actually. Oh, I'm just like really spaced out right now because I never give this number out and I don't know how you got it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just um, forget the whole thing. <laughs> um, it was really nice almost meeting you. Goodbye. <laughs> I hang up. Um, and then a few minutes later, he texts. And then he goes, you might be funny. This is all in a text. You might be funny, but you are not cool. And you are apparently hugely insecure. What a surprise for a striggling actress. <laughs> P.S. If you are going to wear sleeveless dresses, do some arm work, please. <laughs> so I text back. What a surprise that you are so angry. I would be angry too if I spelled as many things wrong as you. <laughs> 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 
you called me three times and left your numbers in three different messages, and you act dumbfounded when I finally returned your call. Girls like classy guys. Even striggling girls have standards. <laughs> you hate my arms so much, then why did you ask me out? Didn't see them till today when I Googled you. <laughs> so then I'm like, at least I have a website to have fat arms on. 